So why are people so phobic of soy? If you're referring to GMO soy, absolutely avoid at all costs because GMOs are a heavy dose of pesticides. But when you're talking about non-GMO like organic soy, it not only can be not harmful, but could be beneficial. And think about this, most Asians live a soy-based existence almost, and they have lower disease and cancer rates than us Americans. So there's many actions that soy has on the body and it's mostly hormonal. For men, it helps lower their estrogen and manage their testosterone, which is all good. For women, it helps lower and block estrogen, especially excess estrogen. It helps us metabolize our estrogen, so it ends up helping with estrogen dominance problems and even lowering our risk of breast cancer. It also helps regulate our periods, helps with fertility, prevents bone loss. If you're on thyroid medicines, I would avoid consuming or taking soy near the thyroid medicine, but otherwise I think it's okay in moderation. So in summary, soy can help with our hormones. We also feel it can help our heart health and help with cholesterol. And so when it comes to soy, moderation is key and it's all good. Research shows that clicking the thumbs up and subscribe button will make fingers healthy and strong. And besides, it's free.